hello there, my friends. It's just me, Ra, coming on to give you my feedback about the swimming row plan and some tips, maybe. If you're a person who's interested in not only losing weight, but losing weight in a healthy way and changing your eating lifestyle to more whole foods based with less junk food in it, then this is the plan for you. It is also, if you're a person that wants something that's very simple and easy to do, this is the plan for you provided that you are interested in eating more whole foods and incorporating a lot of vegetables and fruit into your life. Because if you're not a vegetable and fruit person, you will then have to learn to be one by simply doing this plan. It's a simple plan, nothing complicated about it. Now, is it great to have the app? Of course it is, but in the United States, the app essentially does not have the UPC codes of the foods that we eat here. Now, if you're talking about Whole Foods, then yeah, it has everything in there, but it's not going to have brand names. So do you need this app? It would be good for you to buy three months, I think, to immerse yourself into the plan. I think there's a lot that you can get from the app if you choose to do that. Um, you have Zoom meetings in there. There's everything from, you know, the intro one when you're kind of like in boot camp training uh, in the plan to easy meals and all sorts of other things. There's a whole multitude of Zoom meetings and you can go back in and watch ones that they've already done as well. So there is a lot of useful information. There's a chat feature where you can speak to the home office in the UK. There's also a feature where you can take photographs of the foods that you might want to know. You might want them to put into the, their data bank. There's a sin estimator where you can put in the nutritional facts of the food that you're interested in knowing the sins on, and it'll give you that. So there are a lot of benefits to having the app. This is my third time of having the app, so and I will be planning to renew. I may buy the year at this point because I've already spent more than the year on nine months that I, the three times that I've done this, well more than that because. This time I just renewed. The last two times I went in as if I was brand new. So they send you books and it costs more. Anyway, what is my basic plan? I get 15 sins a day. What does that mean? A sin is pretty much 20 calories. So because I don't really utilize the database of UCP code, UPC codes, I generally just look at what I'm eating, like the condiments, let's say you know, the light mayo is 35 calories a tablespoon. So in this case, that would be a sinable food where I would then say, okay, 30 calories is one and a half cents, right? The five calories doesn't count. It's just one and a half cents. I jot that down. I get 15 a day, preferably five. They suggest, they suggest again, you don't have to do it because there are some days where you will use your 15 cents that you use only five to 10. Now, if you're using five to 10, it's more or less because you're using it on what I would say for me personally, condiment type stuff. I'm having an extra piece of cheese um, or, you know, my grated gold that I love type thing. You've seen, if you've seen my videos, you've seen how I pretty much utilize my sins day to day for the most part. Now, you also have what's called two healthy extra A's and those are where you get your calcium from um, not sure I'm a hundred percent on that, but I go with the plan. That's what the plan is. So my first one every day is my almond milk. 400 mils of, of unsweetened almond milk is the equivalent of one healthy extra A. Okay. So that's checked off. Now I have my second box for the A and then I get what's called a healthy extra B. That is where you get your fiber from. It could be nuts. It could be, I believe dry fruits is under there. Um, your breads, if you like to use bread or you like wraps or you like pitas okay they should have a certain amount of fiber i think that the lowest that it should be is three per serving of the bread to qualify to be able to say it's a healthy extra b if you're in the united states if you're over in the uk then you already know you can just scan it and you'll know if it's a healthy extra b or not but i play with that because we also have some bread products here in the U.S. that have extra added fiber in them. So I have no problem. I'm very comfortable with my healthy extra B choices and making my own decisions about that. And again, if I wanted to ask a question, I could go into chat, So and which I do. 
if I have a question. So we have two out the extra A's. The second one for me is usually at least half of the second one, my feta cheese. Now I have figured out looking at the suggested A's that they give in this beautiful, this is my cover for my books. You have lists of foods, lists of healthy extra A's and B's, general list. And then of course, if you go in the app, you can look up different things and you'll find it there as well. Um, so I went in over the summertime, the second time I did try to do Slime World, and I looked up each and every suggested food item that was on those lists, and I put down the calories for them because I don't have those food items here necessarily. So I said, okay, let me just look at the calories for these foods and the fiber content and the calcium. And I was able to figure out roughly the the highest calorie cheese or cheat or healthy extra a option was 150 to 155 calories. And I think it was the same for the bread. So I'm good with that. My feta cheese is 80 calories for a serving. So I call it a half of my healthy extra a, the second one for the day. Sometimes I use the other half of it. And sometimes I don't, I'm mindful of how many calories the second half is going to be. And off I go and I'm a happy camper. I'm good to go. That's how I look at it. Again, why am I saying these things to you? Because you need to keep everything very simple. Don't make it into a big thing. Because when we do that is when we stop doing the plan, which I have done twice. So I'm speaking from my own experience. Keeping things simple and asking questions, watching people's videos um, on YouTube is where... You get all the information that you need. Trust me, you that and then some. There's plenty out there. And these great YouTubers out there also will answer your questions if you ask questions. So back to the plan. So two healthy extra A's, a healthy extra B, 15 cents a day. And the rest of it is free in protein, free in speed, free foods. Now, speed foods are comprised of fruits and vegetables that are very low in caloric density. Now, keep in mind, the highest caloric density, as an example, is going to be a tablespoon of olive oil for 120 calories. So just think to yourself, how much green leaf lettuce that I eat almost every day at lunch would I need to eat in order to make 120 calories? So olive oil has a very high density calorically. And speed foods are notoriously low in caloric density. That's all you need to think about. Put those pictures in your head and then it'll, you'll understand it right away. So your low glycemic index fruits, which would be your berries. And the only free fruits that are not speed would be bananas and grapes and kiwis also. I believe those are the three at least that I eat. There may be other ones and you can just look it up and you'll know. And does that mean that you shouldn't eat them? Of course not. Sometimes I eat two bananas in a day, you know, medium sized bananas. But the encouragement is to fill your plate with speed. Bottom line, the message is eat a lot of speed if you can. Don't overeat speed to make yourself sick, but eat a good amount of speed with each meal and you're going to be good. You're going to lose weight and you will. I believe that. Um, in past, I have lost weight eating like that. So that's, I'm speaking from my own experience here, not anybody else's, by the way. And these are my own opinions, nobody else's, and I am not an expert in anything. So very simple. Your proteins as long as there's no visible fat, they're going to be free proteins. And you don't cook them in oil, obviously. You can use cooking spray. You know, you're not going to fry. If you fry, then obviously that's sinable food. It's not going to be a free protein anymore. If you add breadcrumbs and all that, you have to sin. You can have the breadcrumbs, but you just need to be, you need to sin the breadcrumbs and that's fine. Um, that's it really. Some bars, which I would think five or one bars, not the cakes, the bars, are comparable to the Skinny Whip bars, 
and the high fi bars that they have in the UK that we, for me to order them and bring them here, it would cost me more for the shipping. So there's no point in my doing that. And I'm really not interested in having them. I think I'm good with having, if I really want to bar one of my protein bars, my old go-tos, pure protein, or the Bear Bells bars. There are bars here in the US that are pretty much pretty close to what is recommended for as being a healthy extra B that that you don't have to send if you don't have in lieu of eating bread that day or if you eat the bread then you have to spend the bread you could look at it several different ways so my tips about slimming roll my tips are to keep everything simple and not to overwhelm yourself pardon me i think that those two tips are pretty much applicable to any eating plan that you're going to be doing even if you're not trying to lose weight if you want to become a vegan you know, you don't necessarily have to be wanting to lose weight. You just want to be a vegan or a vegetarian. Keeping everything simple. Do a little bit of prep. Make sure you have done a good shop before you start. Make sure you have your speed foods in the house, your proteins, your lean proteins, your yogurt, which is also a free protein, your eggs, if you eat eggs, whatever it is that you're going to want in protein, tuna fish in the can and water or brine, um, Canned vegetables are okay as long as there's no added sugars or fats. And um, easy breezy. Beans. Beans are free in protein and fiber on this plan. Just really easy breezy. Put together a plate that's very simple for yourself. What I do, if, if you haven't noticed, you probably have, is I prep a couple of potatoes. A couple of sweet Japanese potatoes, regular white potatoes. I prep a little bit of vegetable. I buy steamable bag vegetables, so in six minutes I can have a vegetable with a meal if I haven't prepped anything. Um, having beans in the house and you know canned beans is helpful. You can get canned potatoes and water as a starch if you want to do that, just to throw on your plate if you need to. You know you can throw it in the air fryer with some cookie spray and seasoning, and you're good to go. I do always like to have a couple hard boiled eggs on plan. Those are really good for when you're hungry and you just need something. A good protein to have around fruits you know you don't have to buy an abundance of fruit that will go bad and into the garbage just buy a few of this and a few of that so you don't get bored and just have them on hand for yourself other than that I don't know really what else don't you love how simple this is I'm not here for an hour explaining it to you it's not even been 13 minutes so what do I think of this plan? I think if you are a person that wants to ultimately eat whole healthy foods in your life, then you should not waste time. You should just get on this plan and you will lose weight. People lose weight madly on this plan. Like I have not ever seen before. And do I hundred percent think that's the best way to go about it? That's just my own opinion. You know, that's between a person and their doctor as far as I'm concerned. For me, I have to lose 15 pounds. I've put some pounds back on. I was at goal. I was a lifetime member of Weight Watchers when I made goal. And slowly but surely, I've not been paying attention. I stopped going to my meetings. I stopped weighing in. And that's a key way to go off track. So I am back at Weight Watchers for the meetings and the weigh-ins. But because I can't go to a Slimming World meeting, obviously, I'm not going to get on a plane. And so that that is... what meeting those needs the accountability needs i have my subscribers on youtube my wonderful subscribers and my fellow youtubers that are on slimming world plan and some of them even if they veer off and they come back whatever because that happens to everyone sooner or later maybe not a hundred percent but most people on the average i stick with them and they're my support system so i have this wraparound package going for myself I have a plan that meets the needs, my nutritional needs that I've set for myself. My goal is to stick with this. I'm not interested in sustainable foods. Yeah, I have them. And yes, I want them at times. Yes, that's what they're there for. But I want my focus of my plate every day as much as possible to be on healthy whole foods. So if you're thinking about that, I would give this plan a try. If you are in the U.S., you can access this plan as I have. 
if you're not ready to do that, I can give you a link to someone who's graciously put the plan on the internet to where you can do the plan free to give it a good try before you spend money. And I understand that and watch people on YouTube that aren't slimming world. That's my suggestion and learn from them how to do this plan. And there's not much to learn. It's really easy. So on that note, I say goodbye to you for now. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon, my friends. May you be blessed in your life. May you be taking good care of yourself and I send you hugs. Bye for now.